Hello and uh, good morning again and uh, welcome to our daily devotion insight. And this morning I want to share with you God's leading. God's leading. And my text is found in Exodus chapter 13 verse 21. It says, By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud and by night in a pillar of fire. You know, many weather-related phenomena described in the Bible are supernatural. Oh, and uh, perhaps the pillar of fire and cloud is the most famous of these, which is found in the story of uh, you know, Moses leading the children of Israel out of slavery from Egypt. You know, when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, the Lord went ahead of them in the form of a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You know, this fiery cloud gave God's people a sense of His guidance, closeness and protection on their way to freedom from the from what from the uh, through the desert you know from the israelites i mean from the uh, egyptians as well as through the desert so later when the lord was preparing a path of escape through the red sea the fiery cloud gave light to god's people the fiery cloud gave light to the god's people but to the armies of pharaoh it brought a terrifying darkness that means it was like destruction Destruction was on the way for them. But for the children of Israel, it was God's protection. It was God's closeness. It was God's guidance. Wouldn't it be great, isn't it, to have a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire of our own? Wouldn't it be great? You know, sometimes we, even when we pray for our children, we pray for our loved ones, we pray that God, you protect them like a pillar of cloud by day, and the pillar of fire by night. You know, something supernatural that would guide, comfort, and protect us. That's what we really sometimes desire and we really look forward for. Actually, in the scripture, it teaches us that today, we are in a much better position than even the ancient Israelites were. We're in a much better position. Why? Because just before Jesus ascended into heaven, He gave us this great promise. He says, Surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. What comfort, uh, what uh, closeness, what guidance, what protection uh, that when you re just read this verse, it says, Surely, I will be with you always to the very end of the age. You know, today, he is with us in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with us. He guides us. He leads us. He helps us. He protects us. He's the one that will counsel us. He's the one that will teach us. He's the one that will uh, direct us. Huh? So, as His written word says, the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit directs us and nourishes us and teaches us. So, this morning, as we humble ourselves before the Lord, Jesus and trust in his leading, he will deliver us to freedom. That's why we need him to lead us. We need God's leading in our lives. You know, the, the, children, uh, the children of Israel in the times of old, they depended upon a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. They depended upon it. But what more now? We have a better promise. And that is Jesus telling us, Surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. This just means that He will lead us, He will guide us. We have God's leading every day of our life. So let us pray this morning that, Lord, we pray that You will continually assure us of Your care, of Your love, and of Your concern. Lead, comfort, and strengthen us in our walk of faith, we pray. Amen. So this morning, if you are going through things in your life, if there are areas that you are struggling with and you're asking God, you know, I need you, then trust His word. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20 says, Surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. What a great promise. What a great joy. What a great comfort. What a great assurance that Jesus is with us and He will lead us all the way to eternity. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.